Let's solve a perfect square polynomial. 6y to the power of 2 plus 5y to the power of 4 to the power of 2. The rule for perfect squares in polynomial says that a plus b, every time you see an expression to the power of 2, this means that we need to double this bracket two times. So it's going to be simply as a plus b times a plus b. We just doubled those expressions two times. We simplified it into a more simple way. Now let's solve the expression. So it's going to be 6y to the power of 2 plus 5y to the power of 4 times 6y to the power of 2 plus 5y to the power of 4. We just simply did what the rule said. Now, how we can solve this expression? We can use something called the FOIL method. The FOIL method is so easy to use. The F stands for the first, the O stands for the outside, the I stands for the inside, and the L stands for the last. The first in this expressions are 6y to the power of 2 and 6y to the power of 2 in the other bracket. So we're just going to simply multiply those together. So 6 times 6 gives us 36y. Now here, when we multiply polynomials together, we're just going to add the powers together. So 2 plus 2 gives us 4. Now let's go to the outside. The outsides are 6y to the power of 2 and 5y to the power of 4. So, 6 times 5 gives us 30y. And as we said earlier, that we're just going to add the powers together, which is 4 plus 2, which gives us 6. Now, the insides. The insides are 5y to the power of 4 and 6y to the power of 2. So it's going to be 6 times 5, which is 30, y, and again, we're going to add the powers together. Add them, so 4 plus 2, which gives us 6. And now the last, the last is just simply 5y to the power of 4 and 5y to the power of 4. So 5 times 5, which gives us 25 y and again 4 plus 4 we're just going to add the powers together which gives us 8. Now the last step is so easy we're just going to put those um, those expressions or exponents from greatest uh, power to the least power so the greatest power here is 8 so we're going to put it at first which is 25 y to the power of 8 then the second least power in this expression is 6. But here, we have two 6 powers. So every time when you see two values that have the same power, this means that we're going to add the numbers together. So 30 plus 30 gives us 60y to the power of 6. And now, last but not least is plus 36y to the power of 4. So this is our final answer.